guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a quick haul video. I haven't posted a haul in forever, so I figured why not just jump on camera really quickly and show you some of my recent purchases. I went to Namie's, I also ordered some things from ColourPop, and I also ordered from a website that I have never heard of before until recently. So if you want to see some of my recent purchases, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to start off by showing you what I picked up from Namie's because I did most of my shopping there. I love going to Namie's because they carry so many amazing brands and I just I'm in heaven every time I go there I end up being there for like three hours the first things that I picked up are these Stila stay all day liquid lipsticks I did own one of them in the shade Carmelo and I fell in love with the formula so I decided to pick up a couple more shades this is what the packaging looks like just your basic liquid lipstick packaging it has the Stila uh, logo in gold so you know just your basic liquid lipstick I love the shades that I picked I ended up going with more like neutrals and rose colors just like everyday colors and I'll just go ahead and swatch them for you guys I am wearing one on my lips right now the formula is beautiful they're very long-lasting um, you can even eat and drink with these on and they're not just going to completely come off of your lips uh, they're not overly drying and I just really really love the formula so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch them for you these are the colors swatched on the back of my hand this first one here is called Rosa we have Carmelo Patina Aria and Baca and I have just been loving them so far. Each color wears beautifully. I'm wearing Aria on my lips right now. I've worn these to work. They last such a long time. They don't go on patchy. So I have truly been loving these so far. And I just love the shade selection. They have a ton more. And I'm pretty sure that they just posted on their Instagram that they're going to be releasing even more shades. So I'm super excited. I decided to pick up this lip liner from MAC. This is in the shade Naked. It's just a very, very peachy nude, very light nude color. I figured that this would go good with the glosses that I'm going to to show you that I picked up from ColourPop because I picked up really light glosses and sometimes I feel like if you're just wearing a gloss without a lip liner or a lipstick that they can sort of like bleed around the lips so I thought that I'd pick up a really nude lip pencil to go with the very light lip glosses that I picked up. I decided to pick up this eyeliner from NARS and usually I wouldn't splurge on a high-end eyeliner but um, I was having an issue with the one that I was using from NYX every time I put it in my waterline it would transfer into my eye and it would drive me crazy so I had swatched this NARS eyeliner when I was in Namie's and it did not budge off my hand this eyeliner is in the shade Rue Bonaparte I believe that's how you say the name I don't know I don't know why cosmetics always have to have these crazy names you can probably barely even see it it's a skin tone color just made for the waterline but it seriously does not budge as soon as this dries down it's not going anywhere and I have worn it in my waterline since I've picked it up and it has not transferred into my eye so I'm really happy with it and to me it was definitely worth the money I decided to pick up this full lips lip enhancer I've seen Candy Johnson and a few other makeup artists use this and talk about this so I decided to give it a try it's just a little lip plumping tool and you use it to plump up your lips before applying your lipstick or lip liner or whatever you're doing um, I've tried it a couple times I don't really see a difference like I feel like it plumps them up but it only lasts for like 30 minutes so it's kind of a waste of money and you want to be careful with these things because you don't want to hurt your lips but I've been curious to see if it works or not so I decided to try it and eh, so far I don't really think it's worth the money but I bought it so this next product I'm really excited about I held off on buying this for a really long time because it is very pricey this is the glam glow super mud clearing treatment mask I've heard so many people talk about this for a couple years now actually and I decided to purchase it because people are still talking about it I was a little hesitant when it first came out to spend the money on it because you know how when products first come out they're all hyped up and you know what I mean but people are still talking about this so I decided to give it a try and I have tried samples of it before I just never bought the full product so I finally picked it up it says that it's good for problem skin skin imperfections porifying mattifying and clarifying and yeah, let me open it so I can show you what it looks like. So this is what the product looks like when you take it out of the packaging. I've used this twice so far since I bought it. And I love when I have it on my skin, I can really feel it firming the skin. And you can see as it's drying, you see the areas where the imperfections are being pulled out of your skin. So I like that you can sort of see it in action and you know that the product is working. I'm excited to use this a few more times and really see if there's an overall difference in my skin. But just immediately afterwards, after you wipe it off, your skin just feels so soft, so smooth, and it just feels refreshed and firm. So I'm really enjoying this so far and I'm excited to keep you guys updated. 
The last item that I picked up from Nanny's is another skincare item. This is the Rodeal Dragon's Blood Eye Gel. And I have actually never heard anyone talk about this, but I asked one of the people that was working at Nanny's if they could recommend any good eye creams, and she directed me towards this one. It says that this is a sub-zero cooling eye gel with hyaluronic acid, arnica, and haluxil? Haluxil? Haluxil. I don't know. Skincare items are so hard to pronounce, but um, it's supposed to be really good for your skin. This is what it looks like. And when I heard the name Dragon's Blood Eye Gel, I was like, oh, yes, that sounds so cool. I have to try it. I did test a little bit on my skin. Like I pumped a little on the back of my hand in Nanny's and it felt really cooling, which is what I liked about it. It is a gel. I love the packaging. When you take the lid off, you just push this down here and then the product comes up from this little opening right here. So I like that it's a control pump because when I have a squeezy eye gel or like one that you have to dip your finger into I feel like sometimes I can take too much so I love that this is controlled for you with a pump and I've really been loving this I've been liking to use this at nighttime because like I said it is cooling and I like to just take a little bit and dot it underneath my eye with my ring finger and then I sort of massage it all around the eye area and it just is so soothing you can definitely feel it firming the under eye area I haven't noticed any difference yet because I've only only use this for about three nights but so far I have been loving it it's not sticky or anything like that so you can use this during the day too I have a different one that I use during the day that sort of has like a peachy corrector in it so it sort of cancels out those bluish undertones for during the day so I've just been using this one for at night so far but I've been loving it can't wait to keep you guys updated and let you know if I see results with this product as well I was so excited to try out the new color pop lip glosses so I picked up four of the regular gloss shades and then two of the metallic shades. As soon as I got these, I swatched them on Snapchat because I was so excited, and these have just been amazing. Like I said, the reason why I picked up that MAC lip liner, the super, super light one, was to go with these nude glosses here just to like make them last a little longer. But these have been perfect for days when I don't want to do my makeup, but I just need something on my lips. This one, Casino, has actually been my favorite. It gives you sort of like a popsicle lip, you know what I mean? Like it looks like you just got done eating a popsicle or something. So cute. I love these just like everyday nude shades and then these metallic ones are pretty cool too. Last but not least I decided to pick up this palette from a website called Juvia's Place. I heard Nikki Tutorials mention this. I can't remember if it was on her Snapchat or her YouTube but she was swatching this palette and I was like oh my gosh I need to try that because it looked so pigmented. This is what the palette looks like. It's the colors that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I do have to say just from testing this um, it's not as blendable as I'd like it to be. I feel like these shadows went on pretty patchy today which kind of sucks because they're so gorgeous um let me just swatch a few for you guys so you can see how pretty this palette is sorry you guys I had to like move all the way over to the side because the lighting is just going crazy right now I'm trying to wrap this up before the lights are just in my face so um, these are the swatches here, and as you can see, they look so beautiful. The only thing is they just don't really blend that nicely, and I feel like they fade pretty quickly. I use this purple shade here, Jezebel, as a liner, like a winged liner, and by the end of the night, it was like almost completely faded away, which usually some of my higher-end eyeshadows are not even high-end, like Makeup Geek eyeshadows that are just good quality. They last all day without fading, so I was a little disappointed. Um... And I did use a primer with these. Like I said, they swatch beautifully, but as far as like the longevity goes and like the wear of these shadows, I haven't been too impressed. So uh, my opinion might change as I play around with it a little bit more, but that's just my first impression of this palette, which kind of sucks because they're so beautiful. I mean, even the eyeshadows that I have on right now, I just did this makeup look like two hours ago, and I feel like the colors are already fading away, which usually my eyeshadows last all day long. But it is a gorgeous palette, so I will keep you guys updated on if my opinion on this palette changes or not. All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap this video up because no matter where I move, the sun is like shining through my blinds and it's a really annoying me and I'm sure it's annoying to watch. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions about these products. And if I end up loving these, you will hear about it in my next favorites video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And all the links to my other social media outlets will be linked down below in the description box. Thank you guys. Bye.